Omaha-based Union Pacific is facing an issue in California. Take a look at this. Now packages littering the railway, unwanted goods and empty boxes left behind by thieves. 3 News Now investigator Aaron Haggerty looked into the problem and what Union Pacific is doing to find a solution. It's package theft before it ever reaches your porch. Thieves take to a railway in Los Angeles owned by Omaha-based Union Pacific, rip through packages and take what they like. Oh, anything from test kits for COVID to furniture, tires, bicycles, TVs. But could Union Pacific be doing more to prevent package theft? An LAPD captain told the LA Times that Union Pacific is partly to blame for not having more security. The captain said, we have millions of dollars of items and equipment, but it is unpoliced. But Union Pacific said they need help from local prosecutors to deter crime. They didn't agree to sit down on camera with us, but said, we've increased the number of special agents, drones, specialized fencing, and trespass detection systems. We need the LA District Attorney's help to ensure there are consequences for those who prevent us from safely moving customer goods. CBS spoke with a Union Pacific Regional Public Affairs Director. What my officers tell me on the ground is many times people come back and say, you know, I just got out and I'm back. Uh, they can't do anything to me, which I think is just insane in terms of our situation of what we're faced with. They asked for help in this letter a month ago, saying over 90 containers were being compromised a day, with more than 100 arrests in a three-month period. But UP said they hadn't been contacted for any court proceedings. The LA Times reported the DA office has made charges in some cases. The DA says some don't have enough evidence to prosecute. This is lawlessness and uh, honestly we need to be tougher on uh, law and order out here in LA. UP says things like no cash bail cause the same criminals to come back and steal more. The letter says UP is quote contemplating serious changes to our operating plans to avoid Los Angeles County. We do not take this effort lightly, particularly during the supply chain crisis. This was a recurring problem and it's getting more and more serious. Erkut Sanmez is a logistics professor at UNL. He says a slower moving supply chain increases the likelihood of theft as containers sit idle at ports or on trains. And when these events are becoming uh, more and more frequent, uh, the system cost will increase like transportation costs will increase, inventory holding costs will increase. That means even if you don't have a package stolen, consumers can feel an impact at checkout. It is like a vicious cycle. Aaron Hagerty, 3 News Now. Union Pacific said they're making progress and thankful for their partnerships with local law enforcement. California Governor Gavin Newsom said we are confident these collective steps and partnerships will ensure we can safely and securely transport the products our communities rely on.